let's try calculating the surface area of some simple shapes. To work out the surface area, you have to unwrap this in your mind. Some people find it easier to actually physically unwrap it, make a model and unwrap it, or you can draw yourself a net if you like. I'm going to try showing you how to calculate it without actually drawing the net. Just think your way through it carefully. Sorry, I'm just getting a couple more colours to help us with what we're doing. What colours will I use here? That one, that one, that one. Okay. So if we have a look at this, it's a rectangular box. I haven't actually marked all the right angles because then it would get a bit messy and confusing. It's a rectangular prism. 19 centimetres long, 9 centimetres high, 11 centimetres deep. I need to work out the surface area. Well, if it's a rectangular prism, it's going to have a rectangle on the front and the same rectangle at the back. It's going to have a rectangle on top and the same rectangle on the bottom. And it's going to have a rectangle on the side and the same rectangle on the other side. So let's give those names. The front and the back are going to be one rectangle. The top and the bottom, whoops, that should be the same number. The top and the bottom are going to be the same. And the side down here and this side here are going to be the third kind of rectangle. I should really have written two with an arrow to underneath as well. But I think you can see what I'm doing. Maybe it's not quite clear. Maybe I will actually put that, oops, put that underneath. Okay? And then we're just going to systematically work each one out. Now each rectangles they're rectangles. I'm not going to bother even writing length times width for the area. We know that. So area 1 is going to be, that's the front and the back, 19 by 9. Which my calculator tells me is, if I turn it on, 19 times 9, 171 watt square centimetres. Area two. Two is the top and the bottom, 19 by 11. 19 times 11, 209 square centimetres. And area three. Three is the two ends, so each end is going to be 11 by 9. Which is 99 square centimetres. Okay, so then the total surface area, again starting to run out, is going to be two lots of one and two lots of two and two lots of three. So two lots of 171, you don't have to write this. Two lots of 209 and two lots of 99. Calculator 209 plus 2 times 99, 958 square centimetres. Don't forget the units and don't forget to call them square centimetres not centimetres squared. I don't want you going and squaring this later by mistake. Square centimetres. Easy. Is it going to confuse us if I leave it there? I'll try leaving it there and if it gets in the way for the next example, I'll rub it out. Alright. I'm also going to change my pens. This is a square based pyramid. The square gets smaller and smaller and smaller until we reach the top point, which is called the apex. So, to work out the surface area, I have to unfold that into flat shapes. 
I'm going to get one square on the bottom and then four identical triangles around the side. I know they're going to be identical triangles because each of these is this, has the same base and they've got the same height. But I've got some extra measurements here. I've got a vertical height for the pyramid of four centimetres and a slant height for the side of five centimetres. Let's think it through carefully. The first one's easy. The shape underneath is a square and then there's going to be four lots of the triangle on the side. So let's have a look. Area one, well that's definitely a better black pen isn't it? Area one is just going to be side times side, six times six, which is 36 square centimetres. Easy. But what about area two? What shape is it? It's a triangle. Half base times height. You might be used to writing this as base times height divided by two. That's fine. The question is, what's the base, what's the height? Well, the base of my triangle is the six centimetres from the square. And the height of my triangle has to be the perpendicular height of that triangle, which is the five. The four we are going to need if we were trying to work out the volume, but here just the surface area, we don't even need that number. We need the slant height, five. Okay, half times 30, 15 square centimetres. And now the total surface area is one of those on the bottom plus four of the triangles on the sides. So I have 36 plus four lots of 15. Well, four 15s is 60, 96 square centimetres. Notice that even though it's a three-dimensional shape, I've still only got square centimetres. I'm finding areas by multiplying two lengths. So I'm still going to have square centimetres. What about this shape? If I'm trying to work out the surface area of this shape, what shape, what individual flat shapes am I going to use? Well, I'm going to have a rectangle here, a rectangle on the bottom, a rectangle on the side, and they're all different. Look carefully, they're all different. And I'm going to have a triangle on the front and another triangle on the back that's going to be the same as the one on the front. A rectangle, three rectangles around the shape, plus a triangle on the front and a triangle on the back. Let's label those. Here's my labeling pen. So, one here, two underneath, Three on the back, four on the front, and four as well again on the back triangular face. Okay, let's work those out carefully. One, two, and three are pretty easy. They're all rectangles. One is going to be five by two, which is ten square centimetres. Two underneath is going to be three by two. Six square centimetres. And three is going to be, the back side here on the left, is going to be four by two. Eight square centimetres. And now I have the two triangles. Notice the way I'm labeling everything I'm doing. Correlating the, the numbers on the diagram with the working I'm doing. It's just to help make it clear exactly what I'm working out. Four is a triangle, half base height. 
Well, this is a right angle triangle. Sorry, again, I didn't mark the right angle because I don't want to clutter the diagram too much. So the base is going to be 3, and the height is 4. Half of 12, which is 6. So then my total surface area, 1 and 2 and 3, and 2 lots of 4. You don't have to write them all out, but let me do it just to make it clear. 10 plus 6 plus 8 plus 2 lots of 6. Can I do that in my head? 10, 16, 24 plus 12 is 36. We'll check. 12, 20, 26, 36.